Hello again, hey, it's Ken from Backcountry Nomad. And just a short while ago, I was out at the Moore Overland Expo in Springfield, Missouri. So, you know, it doesn't really matter whether you're traveling and camping in a van or an RV or an Overland rig, or maybe you're just traveling and camping in your car. I thought I would share with you some of the best new gadgets that I found at the show that would help make your life a hell of a lot easier or in some cases more comfortable. The Moore Expo is held every year and brings people together from all over the United States to see some of the coolest rigs and gear and gadgets and all kinds of crazy overlanding and camping stuff. So this is the Sea Sucker Table. Does it come with the salt and pepper or do you have to get that separate? Depends. Yeah. <laughs> it's a show special. It does the, come with same that. thing with the trash. Does it come with the trash too or just the trash can? Just the trash can. Okay, excellent, excellent. Right, look at this. It's a spice rack. Or shower caddy. You can, oh, or shower caddy, yeah. yeah. You can put that, you could put that um, on your window so when you get stopped by the police, that's right. You could make them a hamburger and you could season that. Be like, here you go. I know you guys get tired of donuts, so here's something savory. That's right. We, we could give them something healthy to eat other than donuts. Exactly. Right. What's this? This is a handle. Right. This one here is a handle. To, What's this one? It's medium duty handle. If you're sure, like going handle? to okay. climb up on top of your Absolutely. wagon to get whatever. Yep. Change a wagon wheel, you know, whatever, right? That's actually pretty sturdy. Very sturdy. What's this one? That one is a paper towel holder. Oh, for paper towel. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it goes on, slides yeah. on there, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yep. How, so how do your paper towels hold up if you're going down the highway? Do, do they It's do like they that unroll? guy that comes out of the toilet with the, do, okay. the streamer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, right, okay. Oh, and a bike rack. So this is a bike rack. That is our mini bomber to so it holds two bikes. Perfect. Yeah. Drink holders. And look, this one comes with a fifth of fireball. You buy this, you get the free fireball, I guess, or coffee, whichever you want. That's the bike rack. So I'm not going to limit myself to saying that any one of those things is in my top 10 list, but I think overall it's good stuff. You see this more and more, which is guys are spraying their trucks with what's similar to like a Rhino liner or a Patriot liner. Seems to be pretty durable. So diesel heaters, these are definitely something that you want if you plan on doing any kind of overlanding outside in the cold. In the winter months, you can let these run. You can set them outside or you can plumb them so that they stay inside your rig. I've seen it done both ways. They also throw enough heat up to heat a rooftop tent. They're priced around $250. But they throw out a lot of heat and they don't really use a lot of fuel. I think you can get a day or two, or I should say a night or two, out of a tank of fuel. Those lights? Yes, I do. You make them in different sizes. Look at this crazy ass swamp buggy. I've never actually seen a side-by-side -side with a rooftop tent on it. That's quite a climb up there. You don't want to be drinking when you're sleeping up there. But I mean, this is not like, you know, you can go way up. Hey, I'm, I'm here with TJ from Oki Overland, and he was just bragging about these jet boils. And TJ, tell me why a jet boil is your best option yeah, for. Yeah, so for me, I, I never go camping without my jet boil. I've got the flash. You set it up, the burner's inside, you pull it out, pop it on, screw in some fuel, 
two minutes, you got boiling water, you can make coffee, hot chocolate, tea, whatever you want. You need to cook some food fast, throw it in the jet boil. Same thing, huh? Same thing. Right, so they come in different sizes? Yeah, so the sumo, that's our big one. You can cook literally a box of mac and cheese in that one. Yeah, 1 uh, 1.8 liters of cooked food. Yep, we have the mini mo, which is the same thing, but shorter. So yep. it's, a, it's a bigger, you can eat out of it type of bowl. Uh, we've got the micro mo, which is a little wider and shorter and then we also have the zip which is perfect you just need that one cup of coffee in the morning gotcha gotcha so jet boil definitely on the must list oh 100 percent gotta have it i've got their cook system i've got their their coffee cups brand oil french press everything <laughs> thank you so much yes sir is like almost 70 bucks 70 dollars for a collapsible pot but hey you know what sometimes you just have to have it this is some of those collapsible containers similar to the pans look they're actually in action here using them as dish pans here's a cool bonus product for you here look at this Tad O Mo shower bag, 20 liters. It's got a power sprayer, put batteries in it. So the Bush Company puts out these awnings that are, are relatively freestanding. Looks like you can put posts on them, but. So I'm here with Dean yeah. from the Bush Company. Yeah, that's it. And he wanted to talk real briefly. He makes rooftop tents, but yeah. he also makes these really cool overland awnings. So yeah. tell me why I would want to buy this one. Well, basically we manufacture some of the world's strongest freestanding awnings. So as you'll notice around here, there are no poles or legs coming down at all. Yeah, that was the attraction for me. The why this yeah. caught my eye. So freestanding awnings, we do it in very, three various sizes. Um, we use a really high quality canvas. All our products are South African made. And um, yeah, basically can mount onto various vehicles, roof racks or rooftop tents. Gotcha, gotcha, yeah. good stuff. Yeah, thank, thank you, sir. You. You're welcome. Oh, so that would have gotten worse. <laughs> Gentle on the throttle. I'm here with Austin from True North Outpost, and he has one of what we would consider definitely one of the 10 best things that you're going to need. Tell me about it. So, this is called a, a fire starter kit. And it has basically everything you need to start a fire without matches. So let's start with your ferromagnetic rod. Ferromagnetic rod. Yep, yeah, this okay. is your spark right here. Gotcha. You use your steel to strike it. Yep. And then you have what's called a tinder wick, which is the rope part of this. Tinder wick. That's yep. your match. Okay. This is a bellows, which is what is also used to extinguish the match, but it also can be used to blow on the fire to bring the fire up. Perfect. And you have your tinder, which is your fat wood. Okay. So this is how you can start a fire with just about any condition, even when it's completely wet. This yep. works. And so I can demonstrate this if you want. Snow, wind, rain, doesn't Absolutely. matter. Absolutely. All right, so you're going to demo this thing here. Yep, so this is how the, the ferromagnet rod works. We're going to scratch off some some magnesium. Okay. See the little shavings there? Yep. Now we're going to strike it. All right, and there's your spark that, yep. that starts your flames. Yep, and if we put the wick down there, that wick will fire up, and that becomes a match. Perfect, perfect. Uh, retail on that? $19.99. And we can get it where? We can get it at truenorthoutpost.com or here at the show. Excellent, excellent. Thanks so much. Thank you. Quick fix for that. So this is, this is my garage right here. Here's a quick That's fix for that. That's my work truck right there. And this gentleman's going to demonstrate you just start. how to do this. Start with your ratchet block down in the ratchet wrangler. The ratchet wrangler. Your hook, any way you want. Close your eyes, twiddle your ears, whatever. Yeah. Wad it up. Like to get a larger size. 
knee free, so it's really stretchy. There's a hole in the top. What you're gonna do? See what happens when the camera comes on. Stick it right through. Stick it right through the hole. What that's going to do is that's going to keep that hook up here. It's not going to get down to the bottom where it's going to get all tangled up, messed up. Oh, all right. You can yep. throw your carabiner at the top, okay. hang it, throw it in a toolbox, tackle box. When you're ready to use it, pull your hook back out every time. Pack of three, twenty dollars. Ratchet Wrangler. You gotta got have it. it. You got it. Where can we get it? Ratchet Wrangler. RatchetWrangler.com. .com. That's where you can get it. Thank you, sir. <laughs> All right. So I'm here with Ian and he works with Geyser. It's a Geyser shower system. It's a pretty unique system, and he's going to explain just what this is and why you have to have it. Yeah, hey guys, um, and thank you Ken for having me on. Uh, this is a brand new way to take a shower in the backcountry with less than a gallon of water. So how it works is rather than a shower head that's generally wasteful with your water and is spraying water everywhere, the geyser system allows you to hold the water in the palm of your hand. So you just turn this valve right here to kick the pump on and uh, you would just put some soap on the scrub and apply the water directly to your body with it. And this is what it looks like. So this will give you, um, at this flow setting, uh, seven to 10 minutes of water flow before you run out of water. Yep. On the lowest flow setting, uh, it'll give you 15 minutes of flow. And that's great for washing dishes. It generally takes about half the tank to get clean. And then once you've gotten fully clean and gotten soaked up, then you can turn the valve to full blast, dump this whole tank in about 30 seconds, and it's like the best 30 seconds of your life. Perfect, perfect. All right, hey, thank you so much. Looks like something that uh, you might want to have. I would hope so. Take care. All right, so I'm with Shirley from Instaprivy, and she's got this really unique product, and she's gonna demonstrate it for us. All right, so this is how it works. And then, that's it, look at <laughs> You've got some privacy, two seconds it takes, and uh, you can have a seat, and it- Inside has a packet for your toilet paper. Inside is a what? A packet for your toilet paper. Can you see her in there? Yes. <laughs> and you can use it for changing clothes, take a shower. Take a shower, changing clothes. You Excellent. You can hang it on the tree or the back of your car. Oh, this is definitely something you have to have for overlanding, oh, right? Absolutely. For and sure. The whole kit comes in a backpack. Okay, so it comes in a backpack, and yes. what does this retail for? One thirty. One thirty for the for the whole package. Yeah, it's show price, but mine okay. is one fifty plus tax. One fifty retail plus tax, mm -hmm. and you can get it where? On Amazon. Okay, so yeah. look for Insta Privy on Amazon. Yes. Thanks. So it comes with a chair, the shelter. Oh, oh, it comes it comes with the chair too. Uh -huh, the chair, the shelter, five oh, wow. waste bag kits. If you're on the back, there's a shovel, toilet <laughs> okay. paper, the whole enchilada, all Everything. seven pounds. The whole thing, seven pounds. Got to have it, right? Oh, yes. It's a must. Excellent. Thank because you, Shirley. you never know when you got to go. <laughs> never know when you got to go. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much, Shirley. Thank you. All right, so check out these things. They're comms fire pits. It's maybe not something that you have to have for your overlanding, but maybe something you want to have for your backyard, right? They're all different styles. Look at this one's the Death Star. You could have your very own Death Star in your backyard. They're made from Tom's Fire Pits. You can find them online, tomsfirepits.com. Hey, I'm with Andrew from Coyote Mesa, and he's got this really unique product for your rooftop. Well, could be a rooftop now, right? Or yeah, rooftop, not necessarily. Tent, cotton blind, whatever. So tell me a little bit about what we got going on here. So this is what I call a freestanding roof rack, and what it is is we have jacks on the end of each foot. Okay. It raises so, the whole rack up and down. Yep. So you raise it up, you pull your vehicle underneath it, and then lower it back down onto corresponding mounts to these right here on your vehicle. Gotcha. And then once all the weight is off the legs, the legs fold up, crisscrossing each other, and then stretch back out to interlock on each other. That's what locks them in place and you're good to go you roll off like it's a regular roof rack so you could set up camp yep you could take you could disconnect take your vehicle out exactly come back later reconnect yep off you go yep and this rack will hold up to 1500 pounds oh, okay so yep. up to 1500 pounds yep gotcha gotcha um, go on anything go on any pretty much yep this rack these mounts right here are for my Jeep and these ones right here are for my Silverado 
Gotcha. So anything from a JKU to a one-ton truck, anything within that side range, it'll fit. Gotcha. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Scuttle is definitely on my list of things that I would have to have while overlanding. This one here you can put right over the fire. Alright, so if y'all have been overlanding, especially in a small rig, you know that privacy and having a place to change or put a porta potty is an option that would be beneficial. And this one here is by AccuCap. It's an enclosure and it closes up. Uh, it's locked right now, but it closes up and it mounts just like um, a, uh, a canopy, but it's smaller. And this would definitely be a product that I would see using because, especially if you're trying to live in a vehicle, like a Jeep, you have a hard time finding a place to actually stand up and change your clothes. So these are made by Ready. They're vehicle travel and readiness kits. They come in all different shapes and sizes. Most of your first aid gear is in here, and they're all separated into different compartments. I like this one in the Pelican style hard case. So this is another one of those lava boxes. This one's stainless steel, and it's got collapsible legs. This must be like the Cadillac version. Yeah, I think it's UK slash AH. So, Uka. Uka. So here's something I always like to see at a show, the Zero Breeze Portable AC unit. What one of the nicest features of this is, is it runs on really low power. So you can run it off of a battery bank or a low output generator. It can be plugged into shore power. The downside is it doesn't put out a whole lot of output regarding cold air. But, you know, sometimes it'll just take the edge off on those really, really hot nuts. So check out these Coca Pelli inflatable kayaks. Aren't these cool? I mean, you could roll these up, put them in the back of your Jeep. They're light as a feather. Pack them away. Be careful with your fishing hooks with these things. <laughs> but other than that, I think these are really cool. I might put these on the top 10 list of things I'd want to take on an overlanding trip with me. Little different style. This one looks like it might be better equipped for a little bigger water. Look at these little guys. They're only six pounds. You want to get out on the water but you don't want a lot of space in your trailer or your rig. I think this would do the job just fine. This one even comes with a spray skirt if you wanted to do a little more rough water, I guess. How are you, sir? Hi, how you doing? Oh, I'm good. He's thinking about upgrading. This is a Wee Boost, right? This is the best one. This is the Overland unit that everybody's going after. So if you want to expand your 
your reach, your connectivity. Your reach, your connectivity. Your bars. This is what you're talking about. This is the one right here. Right you there, have to set up with a, you need a service plan for something like this? Absolutely not. You're just buying the hardware. One time, one time, one time in. One time charge. This is gotcha. $550 for the whole kit, but everything that you need in there. 550 550 So the catch is you need to have some signal to boost. Some signal to boost, and it's a passive system, so it only works on the signal that you're drawing. But here's the thing I'll say about that. Your phone saying that there's no signal doesn't mean that there is no signal. Your phone's antenna is about the size of my pinky, encased in metal in your cell phone. Gotcha. This big guy will do a much better job at finding cell service. This big antenna right here. This antenna. This is the one right here. I work remote with this antenna. So if you want to stream or anything while you're out there, super at. You know, give us a chance, right? If you right. camp in a regular spot where you where your phone says zero, fire this thing up. I bet you it'll find something. No right? kidding. Yeah, not. I mean, not every time, but I think it will. Find Enough to get a text or a call out, oh, yeah, and even on a weak signal. Yes. Maybe even some extra data if you're... Maybe you're in trouble and you need to send out a text or a call yeah. or somebody needs to find you in an emergency. Right. It's nothing to something is a lifesaver. What if you don't want someone to find you? Then you unplug it and you tell them it doesn't work as advertised. And that they're All right. Yeah. Outstanding. And it's awesome. So yeah. it's... Outstanding. Thanks so much. Thanks so much. Have a good one. So thanks for allowing me to be able to spend some time with you and show you some of these really neat things. If you like the content that we're providing, please consider becoming... A subscriber to the channel. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram. The links are below. Until next time, I'll see you soon.